How do you feel about your new friend? Do you like him? Is he cool? Is he a cool guy? I don't know whether you're going to be able to see him, but... Oh. Freddy! Come on, you've got to give him some time. I think Mika's been getting a bit jealous that he is not getting all of my attention. <laughs> Are you a jealous boy? Are you a jealous boy? We'll try him with some cat crack. <laughs> Oh. Come on then. Okay. Oh, good boy. Oh, here he is. He's a beautiful boy. Um. What are you doing, naughty boy? Naughty boy. Oh, it's okay, Fred. Come on, let's give him some space. Let's give him some space. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with how things are going with those two at the moment. I've got Luke and Felix coming around today to hang out, probably play a bit of magic. They know that I've got a new camera and that I'm gonna be testing it out. Oh my God, it's so nice to be able to just walk around and it not be difficult this is amazing oh let me show you some other stuff that I've done today I bought some pillows for my bedroom a bit of an impulse purchase but I've been wanting some big sort of velvety pillows for a little while they're really nice and the little gray one as well is really cute too so yeah love that bathroom's actually changed a little bit since I showed you guys around in my last video. Mainly plants that I've put in there. I didn't have any plants in there before because it had zero likes, there's no windows in there. However, I was watching a YouTube video about plants that can survive in no light at all and decided that if the ones in the video could, I basically just thought, oh my God, I'm so tired. My brain is not working. <sighs> I'm not feeling as ill as I was previously. Brain fog, brain fog, brain fog, brain fog. I need to sit down. I've also had some of my blood results back. I don't have glandular fever and all of my other levels like my iron and my B12, which are the ones that I was most concerned about being vegan. And they've all come back fine. I've got no deficiencies or anything like that. However, there's still some bloods that I am. <gasps> it's a cat. Beep, beep, beep. Anyway, there is still a blood test that I'm waiting for the results to come back for. So that one is to do with my antibodies, I think. So I've had the phone call to say that my results are in. However, they couldn't get me in to discuss them until tomorrow. So it's been pretty much a week since they've had my results, which is kind of annoying, but what can you do? Oh my god, brain fog. What was I talking about? This was like a segue topic. This was because I couldn't think about what I wanted to talk about a second ago. This is what I mean. Like, this is not normal for somebody to be dealing with. I've also noticed that my glands are up again and I've been sneezing a lot more and yeah, I thought I was getting better, but it feels like I'm not. And I don't know whether that's because I didn't sleep not yesterday, the day before. Okay, anyway. So, what I was going to be talking to you about was... My bathroom and my flat generally, since I've done my apartment tour, I have changed a few things in my flat. Nothing major, it's just kind of where I've placed plants and that kind of thing. I was watching a video, I think it was the Sorry Girls did, where they basically did an experiment to see how plants that were supposedly surviving zero light, how they fared in a bathroom with no windows. I also have a bathroom with no windows and I have an excess of plants. So I've moved some of the plants that were featured in that video that I already owned into the bathroom and I'm gonna show you that now. Ta-da! So I've got a nice little snake plant. I've moved a dracaena that was in the kitchen into the bathroom. I like how that looks up there. Although I probably will have to move that once it starts getting a bit bigger if it starts getting a bit bigger. I've got a little ZZ plant in there as well. So there is some light that comes in because I keep this door open where I can. It's only when the ferrets are loose that I shut it because I try to get behind my toilet and have a party with 
the load of fiberglass that is behind there, so yeah, gross. Oh, also, look at the organization. I didn't show you in here before because it was an absolute hellscape, but I bought some storage baskets and I've organized my cleaning supplies and stuff. I think I'm gonna go and get some stuff to make some sandwiches with because, like I say, Luke and Felix are coming over. I haven't had anything to eat today and I need to sort that out. Or is it like its own thing? I don't know. You're the camera buff, not me. It's been, it's been a while. I just make pretty pictures. <laughs> but yeah, it's good. I'm beating Felix. Uh, <laughs> for now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can match that yip button shot. What does that do? What it's, does uh, that do? It's the yip button. Mm. What? <laughs> what the fuck? How long have you had that? It's been his app, man. It's my app. Did you make it? Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> Dude. I need to download it. Where's it? Where can I get it? Plug it. It's not on the app store yet. But I can give you the APK if you want. Yes, get it on there, and then I, this is this is a preview. It's not done yet. It's just uh, this yeah. is this is amazing. <laughs> oh my god, I had no idea. Like I genuinely just thought it was a regular regular app. Yeah. <laughs> is that Ryan? That's Ryan. Yeah, I <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> gamble in there as well. Gamble's in there as well. There's yeah. a few. Uh... Yeah. That was gamble. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing! Oh my god! Oh my yeah. god! Amazing! This is this could be a little like sneaky preaky, sneaky preaky, sneaky yeah. peeky like promo vid. Yeah, amazing. you know, it was the app that changed magic forever. <laughs> I saw it here first. <laughs> Hang on, where have these cards come from? Hmm? Oh no, they're those were your lands. Yeah, those are my. <laughs> 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 mm. <laughs> And you can like layer them as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so silly. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> just talking about how shit social media is <laughs> and how well, we're... You, you're talking to two guys who really don't use it, like, at all. Okay, like, I... We're, no, we're notoriously I... the worst at it. We like, are, yeah. We're terrible at it. Well, I'm not. <laughs> I have a problem. I'm not. I have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I was just saying how I found turning off all my notifications and sort of giving myself time to look at Twitter and Instagram rather than having a notification pop up and then be like, oh, like, I'll have a scroll through. Because I find as soon as I've opened a, an application, because I've got a notification, I end up spending like 20 minutes just scrolling. So yeah, that's what I was saying. And now I've just been roasted by these two. Thanks, guys. But yeah, turn off your notifications and you'll be happier. Scroll life, man, not the gram. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Some tough decisions to make. I bet you have made all of them. Are you struggling? Always. Always. Oh dear. We'll not have a brain for magic. It's okay, you've got a brain for something else. Mm. Uh, anyway, Dang. magic! When are we gonna get your YouTube what, career started? Uh, no idea. Like, I don't know, I wanna do something, man. Like, I do, but I don't want it to be... Not that there's anything wrong with it, obviously, but like, I, I don't want it to be bloggy or mm -hmm. vloggy. And I That's also, just not like, your style, I like... also don't want it to be just like, pure reviewing shit, mm -hmm. or like, like without like, any kind of, um, cre creative input. Like, mm -hmm. I don't just want to like, tear things apart, like, without any kind of constructive criticism. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I've toyed with the idea of silly, like, just, I don't know, just completely scat Skip. scattered content. Not, not even, oh, okay. not, not sketches either, like, I, that's another thing I really don't want to do with these sketches. Unless it's something that takes my mind. Mm -hmm. 
It's a weird one. I mean, I think that's where me and you are very different because I'm very much an oversharer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I wanna. I, I'm looking forward to the day that it happens. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's it's just like I'm, since I quit work and things like it's kind of a thing of working my way to the point where I feel comfortable doing that mm -hmm. shit, you know. Yeah. And then also, if I want to do anything the way I kind of do it, like I think I would need to put a bit of money into it mm -hmm. to get it to look alright. Like nothing crazy, but just like let's crowdfund. <laughs> no, no, I would never want to be. I would never want to answer to anyone else. No. Like that's another big thing. Is yeah. like I just like, the whole Patreon thing and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like it's, it's like with Kickstarters when they do a Kickstarter and then they just go like, all right, well we've got all of these backer goals and all the backers will get this and this and then it's like how many of those do you hear about where they're just kind of fuck, mm -hmm. you know, at the end of it, like they can't fulfill the thing and then they owe money back to people and then it's all convoluted and then people don't trust your product and it's just... It's weird, especially like the more I've looked into it, I think the more I've held off actually doing it just because of the side of it that is like just monetization and people seem to be doing it just for that, whereas I want it to be something a bit mm -hmm. more fun. That's kind of how I feel about this, because Mark said to me, oh, you know, it's really hard to get into it, and I'm like, I'm not doing it because I want to make it yeah. If yeah. I can, cool. Yeah, exactly. Like, but I need a creative outlet. I don't have a creative outlet anymore, and this, like, this is something that is... Yeah, like I, I, I'm hyped for. I would like to maybe make something that was in the same vein as like Vic Reeves' Big Night Out mm. or something like that, where it's more like uh, having. I feel like we're doing an interview. Now. <laughs> like no, no, but like you know, where it's a bit more of um, a very loose, loose format, and just sort of being able to have whatever you want come into it or mm. play out of it, like quite cool. easily. So it's it's it it would just always be kind of changing. Also, another thing I'd want to do is I really would want to try and like keep it easy enough to film so that you can edit it like reasonably fast mm -hmm. and stuff but um shooting it multi-camera and having each episode be or each release of it be like 20 minutes plus mm -hmm. because I, I fucking hate trying to watch shit on youtube and it's like you know what man this is a 10 minute video just to hit the advert and i, I guarantee you i'm leaving two minutes before the end because you're just going to start talking about your sponsor and trying to guilt trip me into trying to skip adverts and i'm like yo as a consumer i just do not want to be that. Mm. i just don't care that's what i really like about jenna marbles she doesn't yeah, do that shit. i don't know man it feels weird it feels like there's some kind of dark thing there that they're not talking about. They it's shady. have sponsorships on their podcast. Yeah, 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 no, no, I just mean... Um, but in terms of, like, her actual content... It's yeah, like, no, no, it doesn't. Like, that is one thing on the YouTube side of it. She definitely doesn't do mm. that, which, which was very surreal and to me when I first... Like, um, she's started. said in interviews, like, I hate it when I'm watching a YouTube video and there's a fucking advert in the middle yeah. of it. Like, it does my head in. It's yeah. really disrespectful. People have come to view your content because they want to see your content and you're shoving adverts down their throat. Like, oh, that is true, man. That like, she true. puts them at the beginning or at the end, but, like, halfway through yeah, the yeah. content is... I, I no, feel exactly only, the same. On the YouTube ones, I don't think I... Oh, you mean, uh, like, apart from, like, proper role Yeah, adverts, yeah, yeah. Like, but she doesn't yeah. sponsor. Yeah, no, no, it's... And even, because yeah. the podcast she does with her boyfriend, she doesn't do the sponsorship. She doesn't talk. Yeah. It's always him that does it. Yeah. Apart from one episode... Gotta keep those cl hands clean yeah. somehow, huh? Apart from one episode where he was away yeah. and it was just her doing it and she was like, oh my God, this feels really weird. Like, I don't normally do this. Sorry yeah. that this sounds shit. Julian normally takes care of this. Something that I do. Yeah, no, it's it's cool, but yeah, that that kind of thing, I guess, where it's just not wanting to really have to, like, nothing I've ever really done in my life I've ever really compromised on. I've mm -hmm. never gone like, oh, I want to do this thing, and then I've sort of gone, oh, I can't do it, but if I can do it, part, it's, it's, it's either worth doing or it's not worth doing at all, mm -hmm. you know? And yeah, so it's it's kind of like this thing where I want to do it right. Like, yeah. I want it to be shitty, and I don't want it to be just another, another fucking YouTuber. You know, I want it like I, I think one of the best examples out there is probably um, Red Letter Media. Have you ever heard? I of don't that? think I've seen any of them. No, this. they're like possibly. Sorry, Fee, we've gone into like. No, no, it's yeah, no, yeah, no, it's cool. cool. Like they've they've Randall, been around Randall. forever, man. Like they've been around for absolutely forever, and I've been watching them for like since I think like since Plinkit review of episode two. Basically, they, they I think they got a lot of attention just off of the kind of negative reviews they did of the very very broken down reviews of Star Wars, and they started as like ten minute videos and stuff. Eventually, they've compiled them and things, but they've never really turned to advertising or anything. They've just recently done a Patreon thing, but they're well established, man. Mm. And they're just guys who like on and mm -hmm. do fun things with it. And, 
just talk about it. It's good. But it's good. Like they, they do what they want to do and they obviously don't feel pressured to do any one kind of content because they do shit and mm -hmm. then do one thing that seems really funny but then they might not have been into I it. I think that's it as well. Like, good. I think the thing... It's the same with my... I was thinking about this earlier. Like, it's the same with my, when I was doing photography. Yeah. I like to shoot from the hip basically and... Which is something I really like because it means, yeah, again, just sort of... It's just your talent, like right? you're not like if you can make a fucking leaf look nice, like that's yeah, because you've yeah. got the ability to make a leaf look nice, or because you've spent loads of money on models, and yeah. like, if you've just got yeah. the ability to make an image, I, I think people do find it genuinely hard to differentiate between something that that has required like time and effort and conscious artistic input and just pouring money into a project and like for example like, I was doing a feed the other day about drones mm. and I was like it, you can tell a 90s photograph anywhere just because of like the way the colours look and mm. how it's like saturated yeah. and it's really it looks dated now right and I really think this drone shit is just going to be like yeah sure we're getting really sweet smooth bird's eye shots mm. but like to be like that was the 10s the what, are, what are we now I don't give a shit I'm not <laughs> they called it I, don't, I just don't care anymore man I I feel like we ran out of good names. They didn't have enough foresight, and there I was Don off the now. Nazis. Yeah, the moment they announced Nazis, I was like, no. I, I don't Naughty. see. I don't, I don't see how more people in the nineties weren't just like, oh shit, we should probably come up with something now, so that like we don't all look like idiots, not knowing what to call it later. Sitting having this conversation, I've just thought we should have a podcast. A podcast, I would be down for that. But where we just like sit and like talk shit. Yeah, like I'd be absolutely fine chatting shit for a while. Like that, that would be good fun. Like, mm. yeah, so <laughs> right, I'm gonna look into microphones. Mm. <laughs> podcast. Podcast. Mm. <laughs> Another project for me to stick my fucking yeah, finger no, no, no. in all of the pies. All of the pies. The Charlotte Lipscomb Media Empire. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry about that, but as we've gone off on like a massive tangent. Yeah, it's cool, it's cool. Okay, all right, I'm gonna switch off for a bit so we can actually enjoy each other's company in front <laughs> instead of being in front of a camera. I'm really enjoying how much Felix is enjoying the gerbils. Yeah, man, they're really cute. Get a gerbil. Yeah, cool. Then show. I mean, they're looking for homes, so hmm. you can adopt one of my gerbils. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Take a fucking sip, babes. <laughs> mm. Felix, what did you get? Nice plant. I don't know the name. It is a dwarf mountain palm. Charlotte, there's a dude here. A dude? Yeah, there's a dude hey. Right here. Oh, he's going. He's going. He's going. He's going. Where are you going, dude? Hey, hey. Oh, he's a spicy boy. <laughs> hey, oh, he's gone. I'm really enjoying your t-shirt today, Luke. Why? Mm. Where, what language is that? I'm gonna assume... Thai or, yeah, something. It's cool though, I like yeah, it. Yeah, no, I know, I, I like it just because it's such a stupidly recognizable brand. Mm -hmm. And it's like just the whole t-shirt. It's good. We should film a lookbook. Huh? We'll film a lookbook. Film a lookbook. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, like these jeans were definitely a pair of long jeans until I cut them off. Yeah. I just don't. Where are they from? What brand are they? Um, Levis's, man. They're Levis. Fine quality <laughs> Levis's. Oh, Mr. Levis himself. He, he, know, he puts a bit of love into everything. Let's see that hat. We've got to look at the details. The hat. Yeah. No, uh, you've got to wear it. That's I the know, point of a lookbook. Yeah. It's a look, Luke. Yeah, but I, I got the hat from the bargain basement section of ASOS and I got it because it's got palm trees on it. That's nice, let's oh. go, let's have a close-up of those details. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Strut for me, Luke, Luke, come towards me and strut, yeah, yeah. Who <laughs> can strut away from me? Oh, is that old one-eye? 
There's Winky. Show us your plant. Give us a give us a give us a tour. Tour. <laughs> well, there's the plant. It's <laughs> a nice plant. Put it in. Put it in. Yeah, baby. Just like the end line on Tetris. Yay. <laughs> Beautiful. The boys have gone home. I've had a really, really nice day with them, as usual. It's been a while since I've seen either of them, to be fair. I said I wasn't going to buy any more plants. Guess what's in here? I nearly bought a plant that was like way more expensive than this because it was the same but it was bigger. But I've got philodendron now and I've never had one of those before so I'm really excited. This is a philodendron and it's beautiful and looks like hearts. I kind of want this section of my flat to be sort of very traily because I think it would look really nice with stuff hanging down. Or maybe it can go in the bedroom because I don't want to distract from the planosphere. Okay, change of plan. We're going to the bedroom. And at least I didn't buy more succulents because that is a big issue for me at the moment. I'm not doing well with succulents at all. So this is actually a very good purchase for me. Okay, I'm gonna clear some space for it. So I'm probably gonna end this video here because I really want to have a look at this footage and get editing with it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's not maybe the most interesting thing for everybody, but I really wanted an opportunity to play around with this camera and have some fun with it. And yeah, I'm really happy with with how today has been. It's been a good day. Like this video and subscribe if that's what you're into and I will see you next time. So I know I said that that was the end of the vlog. However, I have just finished putting together the gerbils enclosure now that I've cleaned them out and I feel like I need to document the landscaping that I've done because as soon as I put them back in there, they're gonna trash it. So I just need some documentation I did a good job. But yeah, I'm gonna pop them back into their house and we're gonna have a little look and see how they get on with it. Oh, so beautiful. Room tour.